All right, guys, so we're replacing the steering gear on this car, and it looks a little daunting at first, but so far it's looking okay. First thing that you need to get off is this little clamshell thing that goes around the um, steering coupler, and it's clipped in right here on this little post here, and then these two just kind of snap together. I got in there and just, you know, popped it off. A couple of jabs, and it comes off, and we'll clean that later because it's really gross. Um, something I wanted to point out, why don't you come in here and film right down there, get those two uh, fittings that are a little sketchy. Yeah. So those you want to soak in some penetrating fluid while you're doing other things, like I just replaced the ABS cables in this. So while I was doing that, that was soaking. Um, the other thing is, we need to get our steering in a certain position where, um, if I can see the camera, I'll show the other thing. We need to get that uh, bolt down there for the steering coupler. That is a 13 millimeter. I was able to break that free. You want to get that done, and you want to lock your steering wheel. Um, it's very important that you do that because otherwise, if it moves around, you can destroy the clock spring in there, and then you won't have airbag and or it may deploy um, if it crosses wires and stuff. So that's a thing. So what I actually want to do before we get started too far is I want to get this thing sucked out and I'll just drop my cap on the ground and just great. So we got our little fluid extractor. My favorite tool so far. And we'll just suck the reservoir out. We're going to put fresh fluid in. looking too bad. I changed it a few times so it's still pretty clean. I'll put this under the car and I'll catch the excess fluids from the power stream. Okay, so that'll be our first step. The next one, we're going to get the annoying part out of the way. We're going to get, there's a plastic cover underneath. We're going to remove that and then uh, we got to pull the Pitman arm off and that's going to need, we're going to need some big tools for that. All right, Tube, so this cover needs to come off. It's also clipped in and on the side and that's kind of not a thing anymore and this has been soaked in oil and it's all kind of warped. Um, so now it's just uh, four screws here and there's two right here. I'm actually going to remove this whole thing. To get my mag tray. Probably gonna have some water. It's been raining the last couple of days. The last day and a half anyways. I'll just do that with it. Be gone! Yeah, I've got an oil leak right here. I think the sensor's leaking. That's not this. Power string pump doesn't look too bad to replace if I had to, but it's fine. Ah, hey, there's that water I was talking about. So this big net right here we need to get off, and then there's a little tool we're going to slip over here, and it'll pop this off. And then once that's done, um, we can get our fittings undone, get the steering shaft taken off, and then it's just three bolts holding it on. And this should come out. It's probably gonna come out right about here. Hopefully, I don't have to take the sway bar off. We just put this back up in there. Um, but luckily, it's not too bad to do. Yeah, got oil like somewhere. It looks like it's coming up from the top. Oh, maybe the. I know where it's leaking oil from. I'll, have to, I'll deal with that later. This is the fun stuff here. This foam thing will not stay back here. Get back there. We got the big gun. We got this. And this should uh, fit over the pitman arm here. And we get kind of like that. And just get it set up here so we can just throw it on real quick. So yeah, something like that. 
That fits on there real nice. This is I bought this for the truck. It also works on this. So I don't have a socket big enough for this, but it looks like I can get in here with this this big guy here. Get a good purchase on it, and then put your feet up against that. So it doesn't turn. Well, that's the wrong way, Jimmy. We'll turn this all the way till it stops. And before we pop it, we'll bring it back to our um, straight ahead position before I take the steering shaft off. These are on there uh, pretty damn good. <clears throat> oh yeah! See what a little bit of heat does? Now be careful tubes, it's gonna be hot. <laughs> I think it was just kind of rust welded on it. A little bit of heat really, uh, really saved us there. So we'll leave that loose because when we put this on here and we go to, you know, yank on it, it's gonna boink, and we may have to hit on it with the hammer just to break it free. It. I got a, we got a new gearbox, so I'm not worried about messing up this little pilot hole here so much. I don't think we'll mess it up. Should be fine. So we've got an impact socket here for this. 19 millimeter on this tool. We'll tighten it. I will spray the threads here. have a hammer behind you. She's gonna pop eventually. Remember we did this on Todd's Bronco and it was a real bitch. That, that did something. Look at that. See, it got loose. Oh. <laughs> Plug your ears, guys. Oh, yeah. She's coming. See that? She's coming down. Yeah. Okay. I'm going <laughs> to get that nut off there, but it's blazing hot. The washer was uh, glowing. Oh, this is a little warm. Let's put this back in here and pull this thing off the rest of the way.
thick now. We can get it with the uh, big guy here. Oh, actually, I actually do want to tighten it. Everything's hot now, damn it. I can't do anything with it. I need to bring this down and knock him out of the way. Yeah, the steering box should come out. I guess if I have to, we can undo the fasteners for the sway bar and just drop it down. It's not a big deal. I just would like to have it be one last thing I gotta do. So, um, I was able to crack the power steering lines loose up there. I'm gonna go up and finish doing that, get that little bolt I showed you guys earlier out. And then we've got three bolts on the side of the frame to undo. There's one that's behind some plastic. I think I'm just gonna cut the plastic, and get it out of the way, and it won't hurt it. And then um, we should be able to get this hunk of crap out of here and get our new one in. So we'll be back in just a few minutes. But for you, it'll be right now. Okay, so I've turned the steering wheel just a little bit so that I can get at this bolt down here. Let's see if I can get it by hand here. You can almost get it with like a bunch of extensions. Let's see if I can snake this right down this way. Yeah, look at that guys look at look at that dirty thoughts uh insert, insert down below there's another dirty thought for you insert. okay get that steering wheel straight ahead and then this just comes off and pushes forward we'll leave it like that do not touch it so we're clear there it's just resting there it's out of the way and the steering wheel is straight ahead position. My steering wheel doesn't like to lock anymore because I think the ignition's messed up, so I need to replace that. So now we're looking straight down and we're right here. So I'm using a 5 8 on here, fits it really nice. Watch this one be the asshole. Because this one right here actually is free. Now what I did, because I had leverage, I just put the steering shaft, I had the steering shaft on here. And I should be able to use that to get my leverage. Oh, there we go. Can leave that. Right there. The one thing that's gonna suck is that this line might want to turn, but I think I was able to, I think I just broke it free. Yeah, it looks like it's free now. But then, you know, getting the wrench in here is almost impossible because I'm up against the motor. So this one right here looks like the pressure line. Let's get this one out of here. And if we get that out of there, it'll give us a little bit more room. Of course. You know, you barely touch it with the wrench and it, it moves. If you try and get it with your hand, and it's like, um, no. We'll need to, I'm gonna clean this off with some cleaner so when it goes on the new steering gear, it's not contaminated. We don't want any of this crap in our new fluid, our new steering gear. Oh, yeah, and let's, uh, let's 
do that. <laughs> We've made enough messes here so far, so we need to make sure we don't do any more. Hey, look at that. There she goes. Oh yeah, we can get, just get this out of the way. So now, it should allow me to do this. Yeah, there we go. See you guys? <laughs> so we need some more. Where's that at? I'm just gonna. The lines are a little crusty. Um, I should be replacing these, but I'm not because they're not leaking anywhere else. I'm just worried about this line starting to twist, but we pretty much broke it free now. Then I would have to get new lines. And the, I, I don't even know where that one goes. Oh, I think it, yeah, it goes the power strength one. That's the pressure line. This is the return. It's not too bad to get to, I guess. It looks like it's horrible, but. <laughs> Just making sure that battery doesn't die. I've got another one in case that goes flat. There we go. Sweet, now we just need to get our um, three bolts out and that should uh, pretty much drop out of this car. So we'll be back and right now. All right, so now we need to remove our two bolts here and then a third one, which is inconveniently covered up. So I'm gonna take this and just nip a little corner off and then we should be good to go. So I'm gonna do that right now. There's sand in there from someone driving his car on the beach. Adam. It's got sand. I'm gonna have to clean that out. So can I just get that in there? Do that. Okay. Now the steering gear is going to want to drop. So, what are we going to be up against here if it does that? It should get caught by the sway bar. So, let's just. Let's just do this. Fuck it, right? Well, uh, I'm gonna clean these up. We'll put, you know, more Loctite on that. I do something like this. Do I need a battery soon? Okay, I got another one. Get a charge. Or readily available. I may have to take the anti-roll bar out. And I'm caught up against the power steering pump. Yeah. So I can't. Back up against. Of course, 
I can't really see because all the lights in my eyeballs. Do I get the other light? <clears throat> no, the sky is blinding me. have to take the steering gear out. <laughs> I, oh wait, we did. Uh, sway bar. We didn't have to take the sway bar off. Sorry, I'm a little retarded sometimes. Oh. We'll just do that. I'm gonna go wipe off, wipe this area up, and then we'll just slam that new one in. How about that? So close with this stupid clamp is pinching the whole thing. It's really clamping my style here. Oh. Holy Jesus Almighty. Okay. Started. I'm gonna get another one. I just want to get it hung on two points And then that way I can put some Loctite on there. Put a little bit of that on there Catch some sand on it and that'll make for a good Loctite <laughs> that with the uh, breaker bar. I can actually I can probably do this on a, my um, <sighs> torque wrench. It's a small enough bolt. I don't have a half inch torque wrench. So what I'm actually just going to do is I'm going to get it real snug. flat there. There is some paint in these threads. I probably should have cleaned that up beforehand. What no slam hill? Okay, so I need to get my little hammer and tap it in. Okay, that was a little, a little annoying. I 
stuff up top again. Oh, you know all those extensions I just took off? Now I need them. Because I should be able to <coughs> come up in here like that. That should be good. Nice and tight. Okay, so now we need to figure out I should get a new one of those soon. I'm just getting the splines lined up, it's keyed. <laughs> I'm gonna be real annoyed if this doesn't line up properly and then I keep blocking the light with my head here. That's real close. here staring at front looks like it's in a straight ahead position I'd hate to have to get this realigned again but I think I got it straight on yeah okay I think I just had it off a little bit that happens so I'm just gonna press this on and then uh, I'll take the nut back off yeah this is going a lot better and we'll put that lock washer back in and then we'll crank down on this. I was getting really annoyed. I was thinking that this was all messed up and because they always set these steering gears up for the straightaway position and as long as you have your steering on the straightaway position and don't move it, it should be good to go. So I think we're good now. And this is going on pretty easy. If it doesn't go on easy, then there's something wrong. The nut sure spins a lot nicer now. Looks like we're almost up there all the way. We're gonna go ahead and put our washer, which, um, where'd the washer go? I need that, that big guy that was up here. Where was, oh, he hidden. And we're ready for a test drive and see if we got our alignment needs to be fixed or something. I hope not. I just spent a hundred and some dollars. I'm getting this puppy aligned. Get this wheel turned all the way over. fluid to the reservoir and check this out. Just pissing rain. I mean, it's dumping. So we're gonna try and wait this out and then, cause I need to like move the steering and everything. 
back and forth. But uh, so far, the steering wheel is nice and tight now. Um, the steering gear will need to break in. Um, so we're gonna have to run it 500 miles and then we'll just do a power steering flush on it. Um, so I'm going to do a process of uh, starting the engine and just running the steering wheel lock to lock and just getting all the fluid circulated and everything uh, bled out. It's probably not gonna wanna pump up yet because it has to, you gotta cycle that fluid. In fact, I'm gonna do that first before I just start it up because I wanna try and get all, as, many, as much air out as I can. So we'll see how that goes. I'm hoping this crap will pass for, just let up for a minute. Flooding. Holy shit! Um, give me that, dude. Look at the gutters, dude. We're having it's flooding. Look, it's all flooded out there by the road, and the gutters overflowing. Holy shit! Um, okay, dude, we're right back. 